Hello. It's Good Friday, a, a day we reflect on, uh, on the work Jesus did on the cross and what he accomplished for us. A few years ago, a, uh, a nephew of mine was out uh, cultivating in the field, and on the back of a cultivator are spring-toothed tine harrows, which you see under the, uh, the cross behind me there. Well, this young fellow wanted to lift up on the harrows to kick away some trash that had been there plugging. Well, as he was kicking away the trash, the harrow slipped. And one of those tines, which can range from uh, uh, 10 inches to, to uh, 18 or 20 inches, went through his foot. Now, the pain was so much that he couldn't even call out. And he had to concentrate and hold his foot down and pull that harrow up and pull that tine that was right through his foot and get it out. And he spent uh, three days in the hospital. Uh, they were dealing with infection and the, uh, the damage to his foot. I wondered if I had remembered it all correctly, but I phoned him the other day and uh, he said that's the way it was. What's so good about Good Friday? Do you ever so sort of flippantly ask somebody, how was your day? And, and maybe they as flippantly re re remark back, good. And maybe we've done the same thing when someone's asked us, how was our day? And we say, good. Good is such a relative term and sometimes just uh, thrown around when we refer to how our day went. On that first Good Friday, in the early afternoon, if you would have asked Jesus, how was your day, Jesus? His answer could have went like this. Well, in the last 15 hours or so, I've been betrayed. One of my own turned on me and turned me in. Uh, misunderstood. My disciples still don't get what I'm about. Deserted. When trouble showed up, my friends scattered. Denied. When questioned, Peter, my outspoken follower, wouldn't even identify with me. Mocked. Verbally. Uh, put a scarlet robe on me, making light of prophetic reference to me. My trial was a mockery of justice. Then I was crowned with a wreath of thorns, adding physically painful element to the mockery that these soldiers and authorities were engaged in. I was slapped, beaten, and spit on. I was whipped, and this whip had strips of leather with metal or bones tied near the ends, so it would tear out pieces of flesh. And then I was nailed to a cross. There was nails through my hands and feet and left there to die. Good Friday. Hmm. If you, were, if you ever asked a soldier, what if you had to go to war? Or what if you get in a position of putting your life on the line? They'll probably say something like, well, well that's what I'm trained for. That's what I do. I'm a soldier. If you could have been there and asked Jesus at any point during this awful ordeal of arrest, trial, and crucifixion, what are you doing? They're going to kill you. You're going to die. You know what he'd say? That's what I'm here for. That's exactly what I'm about. I'm the Savior. Romans 5.8 says, God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were, we were still sinners, Christ died for us. He had a plan to redeem us. John 10, 18 says, uh, Jesus says there, no one takes my life from me. I lay it down myself. There's power and prerogative to carry out the plan. John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. There's a process of sacrifice and atonement to give us Everlasting life. And John 10.10, 10, Jesus said again, I have come that you might have life and a life more abundantly. There's a product, and that was changed lives. So what's so good about Good Friday? Well, it was, it was a painful day for Jesus, but it was a productive day. His great pain offers us great gain. By dying, he paid the price for the sins of men and women the world over. It's good news for us. As human beings, 
that are sinful by nature. On our own, we can't be reconciled to a holy, righteous God. And we're destined for death, physical and spiritual. We have a Savior in Jesus who is our substitute and advocate, who served the death sentence that we deserve. That's what's good about Good Friday. Thank you, Father God, for your love and plan for reconciliation. Thank you, Jesus, for willingly giving your life to save me. And thanks to you, Holy Spirit, for your regenerating power that makes me a new creation as a child of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.